kia ora, Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Claremont, Florida. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a very long day. <laughs> Hope you all had a super fantastic sparkling day. How did you get on? And I apologize for the lives not working so well this morning. We had thunderstorms coming in overhead and they kind of reduced what little Wi-Fi connection I have. They basically took it down to nil. So um, I did um, do a quick video and posted that today. So if you haven't a chance to see that, go check it out. It's in my live. Um, in my, fa uh, my oh, jeepers, long day, Facebook feed, that's what I was trying to think, feed, that's it, yes. Um, and your challenges today were for mindset was awareness, being aware of your surroundings, being aware of who you are, being aware in the moment, being aware of your feelings, um, all of that sort of good stuff. Um, your business was being open to ideas, new ideas, open to opportunities, open to constructive criticism, um, and um, I think that was it. You have to check out the video this morning and then the fun thing was to learn a new dance go on to YouTube find a dance and learn it there's plenty of dance classes on YouTube for learning line dances learning specific dances for specific songs um, that sort of stuff so um, if you didn't get a chance to see my video this morning go check it out it is not a Facebook live I ended up having to record it and then upload it because the lives were not working this morning um, so of course as I mentioned we had thunderstorms um, which was kind of interesting because the forecast was for clear sunshine day with a light rain. Yeah, not so sure about that one. Um, and Zephy was perfectly calm through the entire thing. We had this big cell over top of us, flashing lightning, rolling thunder, and she's just sort of like hmm, looking out the window, minding her own business. Couldn't give a crap. <laughs> really couldn't. She sees me sitting over on the couch and comes over and says, what are you doing, Ma? So I quickly took a selfie and got that posted on Facebook too. Um, got to have my mastermind group today, which I absolutely love meeting with um, great entrepreneurs and um, listening to ideas, learning new things. So that was part of my being open today, was being open to new ideas, um, being aware of who I am, where my mindset is. Um, I think my super fantastic sparkliness got a little away on me today because it was very bubbly today because I made a big announcement in the group and the rest of you will hear about it later this week. I am not saying anything about it right now because there's still some pieces being moved into places um, before I can announce that. But um, stay tuned because it's a good one. And um, so yeah, so we spent most of the day in the mastermind group, which was really, really cool. Um, got to hear where different people are in their business. Um, got to hear, learn a lot. My gosh, I've got writer's cramp. Uh, I took lots and lots and lots of notes. Um, and I got to learn a lot of new stuff as well and be reminded of stuff that I had learned in the past but have now forgotten. Um, <laughs> then after our walk, um, we got finished a little early today and so I decided well, I'm gonna take Zephy for, for a walk. So we um, got changed and off we went on our walk and all of that and we're doing fine. She's busy trying to chase little geckos underneath the, into the bushes, chase squirrels up trees and she now figures out where the noise is coming from because you keep hearing this <coughs> noise and it can get quite loud like a clack, like a <coughs> and you look up the tree, <laughs> it's lead just popped up like, it's gone, what's that? <laughs> She's asleep on the couch. Um, and like I could hear these noise come from a tree, but I could never, I was trying to figure out what sort of bird it was. Now I figured out it's the squirrels. And so of course Zephy's at the bottom of these palm trees and she's just like looking up them and then she'll go around the other side and put her feet up there and look up again and she still can't see these things. And uh, some of them will just sit there in the middle of the grass and just, with the, just sit there perfectly still and just watch her. And it's quite amazing and it seems to see how long it takes and when she suddenly notices them, they're gone. And she tries to take off. It doesn't quite work that way. So um, we started walking down. I thought, well, the dog park would be a good place to go. Let her off her leash and go for a run and everything else. Yeah, we didn't quite make it to the dog park. Um, we got close. We did get close. We we're going past section D. You got to go past the D section to get to the parking area where the, we were one bend away from where the parking area is down by the lake. And then there's a path that goes off into the trees. And I could actually see the the first path that goes off into the camping area and the dog parks just there in the camping area and we got to there and my left foot suddenly gave out on me because I had caught it on the edge of the road there was no curb it just edge of the road and it was a little uneven there and I totally was not watching where I was going I was watching Zephy with her antics and she was in the middle of a lunge when uh, my foot hit the edge of the curbing and I went down 
and unfortunately let go of the leash and she just took off. She went running and I called her and these guys over the back here had seen me fall and asked if I was okay. I said, yeah, I'll be fine as soon as I get hold of my dog again. And these two young guys had gone past in a golf, court, golf cart and they came back. They were down by the lake and they heard what was going on. So they came back and stopped a few, about 10 feet away from me. And um, I'm, 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 by the stage, I'm up on my knees and I'm calling to Zephy. She comes running straight towards me at the last second. We're just turn and fly away and she's got the leash like flapping out behind her as she's running along because it's going ding 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 on the ground and I'm like oh crap and she's just doing these big circles and then she'll come straight for me when I called her and then she's doing this one big circle and I called her I said Zephy come front and, like gave her a really good come up it was a really it was my it was my corporal voice um from when I was back in the air force back you know 30 years ago and um gave her that come out and she came straight for me and then veered off and goes running to the and, and then trots up to the guys in the golf cart or one of them reaches down grabs her leash and holds it for me i'm just sort of like oh jesus it just shows you how much control i have out of my dog but this is this is the down i don't know if you can see that that's all the damage i have that's it that's it that's the only gravel burn i have my left hand is fine my knees are fine they're sore yes they're definitely sore i'll probably be even sore in the morning um but came back and pulled my essential oils out um, bathed it in what was it lavender basil and um, melaleuca and then put some halicrysanthem on top and uh, it actually feels it actually feels really good so I'm going to um, also put some stuff on my knees and on my other hand too to help with the stiffness that's starting to come in so I try to get up and move around a little bit so that was her great escape for today and the reason I'm on early um, is because in about 13 minutes I get to go and get on a Zoom with my mum and dad in New Zealand and my brother and his wife and hopefully my oldest nephew if he's bothered to read his Facebook messages this morning. <laughs> so Jake, if you are watching right now, in 13 minutes we're going on Zoom. The mess all the link and stuff is in your Facebook Messenger. If you're not watching, that's okay. We'll catch you next time. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, that's been a really, really good day. Um, despite the fact having the fall, but it's okay. It's just one of those things. But I've um, had dinner, ready to talk with my folks and my brother, and, um, and then after that, I'll probably go and have an early night, <laughs> go and lay in bed and read or something. But Zephy keeps coming up to me every now and again, and she's got this little frown, this little fold in the middle of her head here, like she's concerned about me. And so I show her my palm, and she just like sniffs it, and then she walks away. <laughs> Not sure if it's the smell of the oils that sent her away or she's just checking on me to make sure I'm okay. But um, yeah, she knows I wasn't very happy with her for taking off like she did. But hey, at least she came when I called, even if I couldn't grab her. At least she comes in the direct in my direction when I call her. So I am thankful for that. And uh, <coughs> excuse me. Tomorrow we have to go. Um, she has to go to the vet tomorrow to get her booster shot for one of her vaccines. Um, and we've got to pick up some. Um, more dog food for her too so I have to um, but they're now doing all this thing where it's all curbside so like they will come out to the car and take her into the into the like I get to the pet smart they will bring the shopping out to the car and put it into the into the trunk for me <coughs> excuse me I order it online call us number, let them know that I'm there they come out I open the trunk they put it into the trunk for me they close the trunk that's it transaction done everything's already paid online with the vet similar thing um, so when I pull up tomorrow I gotta Call the vet, they come out and get Zephy, take her inside, um, give her a booster shot, they're going to give her a pedicure as well, and then they'll bring her, and then they'll call me when they're ready and um, bring her back out to the car and put her back into the car for me. And of course, all played online in front of things. And um, they said, oh, do you just want to drop her off? And I said, well, she's just coming in for a booster. And then I found out they did pedicures as well and she needs to have her nails clipped again. I'm not touching her nails. <laughs> and uh, so... Um, that's oh yeah that's okay you know we'll put down that you're accompanying her and now they sent me this documentation that says you got to fill out I've got to fill out five pages of paperwork send it back to them via email and they sent it to me in a PDF file that I cannot edit okay so I, they said just fill out the form that we've got attached you can email it back you don't have to sign it you just type your name in there you can't even fill in the form it's a PDF file and they have not made it into an, a form that you can fill in online so you have to print it off scan it and send it back to them and i'm just sort of like replying in the email saying okay you sent me all this paperwork you have her records on file all she needs is this and this that's it period and i have gone in put the payment information in and um you know i will do the rest so you can come out and get her and all that sort of stuff so 
I don't know why they need five pages of information from me when they have all of her medical records. This is why I went with Banfield because they, they just, I just give them my phone number, they can pull up her records and everything's there. So they, all they're doing is giving her a booster shot to her, to her vaccine and um, clipping, clipping her nails and that's it. I am not filling out five pages of paperwork which is exactly all the information that is in her file already. So. I'll be getting a nice little email from me about that today <laughs> saying this is all she needs i am not filling out all that information because you have it on file but anyway that's it for me i am off to go get ready for my call with my parents make sure i get plenty of water for when i talk with them so i'm not coughing all the time um have a super fantastic sparkling evening we will catch you tomorrow morning with your challenges of the day we're supposed to get light rain again tomorrow so it'll be interesting because today if you looked at my facebook page i had two weather reports at exactly the same time for the same location. One was thunderstorms, the other one was clear blue skies and sunshine. Yes, I posted a picture out the window of what was actually going on. <laughs> but anyway, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Have a super fantastic sparkling evening and um, tune in tomorrow morning for your challenges of for tomorrow's challenge of the day, for your mindset, your business and fun. Heck on era.